Coral reefs are in trouble all around the world and they're suffering from a variety of human impacts. Uh, climate change, of course, is a major focus with increasing seawater temperatures, uh, causes problems with the coral that we call coral bleaching. Agricultural runoff and pollution and things like that lead to algae growing and smothering out the coral. And then just unsustainable fishing practices and unsustainable coastal development are also impacting coral reefs all around the globe. So the Steinert Aquarium is involved in coral conservation and restoration in a number of ways. Of course, primarily our focus is on conservation education here at the Academy. And we use the coral reef tank as the stage on which to deliver educational programming around complex topics like sustainable seafood and ocean acidification. We're involved with partners in direct coral reef conservation and uh, working in the Caribbean, in Guam, and then of course in the Philippines, which is a focus of academy science over several decades. One of those partners is SeaCor. SeaCor is a network of zoos and aquariums in the United States and abroad that are working together to address coral reef degradation through active restoration. And the primary way that we do that is by exploiting the sexual reproductive phase of corals. Corals are unique animals that are able to reproduce both asexually and sexually. Their sexual reproductive strategy, called mass spawning, can be visually stunning. It's kind of like snow in reverse. It's fascinating to see these sperm and egg bundles float up towards the water surface where they mix, uh, the fertilize, and then the little embryos develop into coral larvae that then swim around and find a suitable site to settle out and grow into a new colony of coral. Steinhardt biologists travel the world working on coral restoration with SeaCor. In the coming year, we hope to conduct the first of many workshops where we start to train Filipino scientists, conservation folks, and regulators on how to use the SeaCor techniques. We're really looking at developing partnerships for an economic livelihood for coastal peoples, really to grow corals, to farm corals, not only to help restore the reefs, but also for people to sell on the international aquarium trade as a more sustainable product. There's this great diversity of life out there, and it's all beautiful and magical and inspiring. It's a resource that, that we all share and have responsibility for together as humans, as a member of the species that inhabit this planet, and that we need to work to conserve that, and we need to work to protect that, and make sure that we don't lose what we have now.